Short animated films are exploding across cable and the internet, but there's one cutting edge animator who's gaining special attention for his unusual style and the complexity of his art. His latest project has the titillating title, The Future of Sex, and we've got the first look. Are you lonely, antisocial, bored? Call me. I'm the love bot. This is the future of sex. This is the future of art. And this is the creator of these animated films. Meet Meets. Yep, that's his nickname, one he's had since high school. But don't let the name fool you. Jim Meets Meyer is as cutting edge as his art. I see myself as pretty much the Johnny Appleseed of the digital era. <laughs> the future of art is Meets Meyer's first film. It's a showcase for his twin passions, art and technology. It's a futuristic um, robotic setup that allows you to paint a masterpiece every single time so that everybody has the power to be an artist. The future of art may have taken conventional filmmakers years to even visualize. Meats completed the short in less than six months. I see lots of different pieces of animation uh, done in this medium and a lot of them are just pushed way out there, you know, sci-fi-ish. And this has, it's on the edge of sci-fi, but the concept is so to the point and targeted and it's depicted in such a very clear way. It's really incredible. Very talented. This is Meets Meyer's Fun House. It really is his house. It's not an artsy New York loft like you might have expected. It's actually a ranch-style house found in the heart of Salt Lake City, Utah. It's also his office, and it's also a lot of fun. In my creative environment, I like to have a lot of pictures and a lot of weird stuff for times that I'm just trying to think up ideas. All of the pictures and weird stuff are Meat's art, including this one, his first airbrush painting. Its name, The Divergenizer. I painted this picture at a party in front of about 20 people. I painted it upside down and it took me less than 30 minutes to paint. From painting to rendering digital masterpieces, you would think that Meats had been working with computers since Commodore was 64, but it's only recently he's gotten into animation and filmmaking. Well, I had been working as a t-shirt designer for several years, and as well as a freelance airbrush artist, and I got a phone call one day from a gentleman that was just starting up a video game company, and he, was, he asked if I'd be interested to come down and take a look at what he was doing. That gentleman was game developer Clark Stacy. I think most respectable cultures would have locked him up a long time ago, and instead we, we give him powerful computers and, uh, and software and, and let, him, let him make these things. With an unquenchable curiosity and raw talent, Meats developed an exceptional ability to create using computer technology. He is somebody who can take something and bring it to life, which is a very unique skill. In his latest short film, Meats imagines what the future of sex will be. He gave iFilm at IFC an exclusive look at his work in progress. And it is steamy. Are you lonely, antisocial, bored? Call me. I'm the love bot. The future of sex is just basically making f fun of how people um, kind of are starting to go more inward with their sexuality, with technology and pornography on the internet, the lack of intimacy with other people. Give me a kiss. The future of sex. Meets Meyer was the artistic wizard behind the most widely produced video game in the year 2000, a Captain Crunch game. Right now he's working on an animated program designed to make math fun for chronically ill children. <laughs>